Hi children, from this video we are going to start a new lesson, organ and organ systems in animals. From microbe to the blue whale, organisms occur in different sizes, shapes, but with a well organized organ and organ systems. Right? We know the basic concept. And then the basic concept are you? Cells form together tissues. Cells are say in the number of tissues are formed for no tissue form together organs. Right? For example, organs, then organ form together organ system, then organ system form together whole organism. Got it? Cell form together tissue. Tissue form together organ, organ system, adhikaprama, organism. Got it? In the lesson, le, nama paka poradhu, you are being introduced to understand the morphology anatomy of three organism placed at different evolutionary level. Right? First of all, what is morphology? Morphology na ina renditam therinj konga before start the lesson. Morphology. What is morphology? Study about the external feature, visible feature. It is called it as morphology. What about the anatomy? What is anatomy? Internal study is called it as anatomy. Morphology, very poor MIPL. And then anatomy, ul MIPL. In the morphology, anatomy, three organisms. One is earthworm, cockroach, and frog. Let us start with the type study of earthworm. Earthworm. Lampito morudi. It's actually a zoological name. Classification. Phylum Annelida. Class Oligochaeta. Order Haplotaxida. Genus Lampito. Species Maruti. It is actually a terrestrial invertebrate. It inhabits upper layer of soil which is very rich in decaying organic matter. Moist soil, there is decaying organic material. And the upper layer of soil, there is the earthworm. It is actually a nocturnal animal. What is nocturnal? Night dwellers. This is the nocturnal. Night dwellers. Night time is very active. And that is the nocturnal animal. During daytime, they live in burrows. It burrows and swallows the soil. Daytime la na pano the burrows la rukun. Night time la tanoda unavu kaga na pano it come out of the burrows. We know that one clearly. Friends of farmers, we was actually none but abdin solu yar tuama. In garden, the earthworms are traced by their fecal deposits. In the garden la in the fecal deposits irkum bordo. Na ma ena teren jikla soil surface la we can able to see the fecal deposits of yar tuam. That is why we are casting the worm. That is why we are casting the worm in the soil. Right? What is the common Indian earthworm? Lampito Maruti, Megascolex Maruti, Perionyx Excavators, Metafire Postuma, that is Peritima Postuma. These are the common Indian earthworms. Shall I pronounce it again? Lampito Maruti, Megascolex Maruti, Perionyx Excavators, Excavators, Metafire Postuma, that is Peritima Postuma. These are the common Indian earthworms. Important to mark question for your board exam. List out some common Indian earthworms. Get on it answer. Pananum. Right? Ademar, what is worm casting? Get on the answer. Pananum. Next, classification of earthworm based on the ecological strategies. The earthworm is called ecological strategies and the earthworm is classified. There are three categories that earthworms fall into. These can be defined by the part of the environment of worm predominantly inhabits. These three main types of earthworms are epigeic, anic, endogeic. Once again I repeat. Classification of earthworm based on the ecological strategies. Either ecological strategies are the niches. For example, top soil, deep soil, other earthworm 
three categories are kundu varum. Epigic, anic, endogic. Right? Got it? It is important to note and understand the difference that this type of worms have to order to recognize the differing roles within our ecosystem. Right? First, we will start with the epigic. Epigic earthworm is a phytophagus. What is phytophagus? Okay, it eats the leaves content. Tavara unnigal laprim sonu. Tavara ngale ilai tarayagla saapra kudiyadu. Phytophagus. Adha surface dweller sonu. Inge parangai in the area la irukkardu yallamme yandha variety abdin vandhu pati na epigics abdin sonu. It is present upon the earth. Earth ku mela surface dwellers sa irukkanga. Weak burrowers. They cannot make that much burrows. Idhi yena earth ku mele irukkardu nala soil ku mele irukkardu nala no need to Build the burrow. Do not build burrows. And instead reside amongst the decaying organic matter on the soil surface. They are also sometimes called compost wormers. Aungle enna sollu vanga abdiin pati na compost earthworm sollu vanga illa surface dwelling earthworm. In the surface lay irukkardu nala idha surface dwelling earthworm sollu vanga. Example, periodics, excavators, eudrillus, eugene. What are the two examples? Perionix excavators, Eudrillus eugene. Epigic we completed. Shall we see the annex? In the annex variety, in the solar lamp, in the geophytophagus. Geophytophagus, in the tower of 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 the tower Subsoil dwellers. Okay. They are called it as subsoil dwellers. Yen the subsoil dwellers abdin solro abdin patina. Vertical actually in the na pano abdin patina. Vertical burrows make pano. Either than a manix solo. In the annex la verticular burrow make pani irko. Annex is actually a Greek word derived from the out of the earth. Out of the earth abdin solo. Although these worms live below the ground. They come up to the soil level for their food. Below the level like irundalu, in the annex layer ka kudiya. The annex variety ana yarthwa maina pano food ka agai will come out to the soil level for their food. These worms are those that burrow vertically. Vertical burrows are made pano. It makes vertical burrows. Got it? It creating permanent burrows as deep as six. Feet below the surface level. Their burrow system or quite extensive can be as big as 1 inch in diameter. These worms collect food from above the ground in the form of organic matter such as fallen leaves. Drag them back underground to their burrows. underground They are also known to eat soil and some litter. In the soil and litter you have to eat geophytophagus. Annex or geophytophagus, subsoil dwellers. Apriyandhalo upper layer ke edu kaga varu, food kaga varu. They are subsoil dwellers. Though it is a subsoil dwellers, they will come to the upper layer of the soil to take their food. Out of the earth. Earth ka hadi layer karna lai the out of the earth. Apriyan solu. Idu make panna kudiya baro, vertical baros. Lampito maruthi, lumbricus terrestrius. Idha annex variety yana earth one. Endogics. Next, we will talk about endogics. What is endogics? Endogics translate from Greek to mean within the earth. Endogics means within the earth. And accordingly, these worms burrow within the top layer of the soil. Top layer of the soil rarely come up to the surface. If the surface is the top layer of the soil, it won't come out. Prevert instead of literally live within the earth. Within the earth, they live within the earth. They are mostly commonly found in the uppermost layer of the soil where they create semi-permanent horizontal burrows. This is burrows, horizontal burrows. Right? Some will burrow deep into the soil. Where deep. deep. Some Worm will make a burrow deep into the soil layer. They typically only make an appearance on the ground surface in instances of heavy rain. 
எக்ஸ்ட்ரா மாய்ச்சர் இருக்கும் பொழுது மொத்தம் தான் இது வெளியே வரும் மற்ற எல்லா டைம்லையும் எங்க இருக்கும் எக்ஸ்பிரஸ் டீப்பர் ரீஜன் காட்டட் புரிஞ்சுதா எக்ஸாம்பிள் ஆக்டோ கீட்டான் தஸ்டானி ஆக்டோ கீட்டான் தஸ்டானி திஸ் இஸ் த எக்ஸாம்பிள் ஆஃப் எண்டோஜி வாட் ஆர் த த்ரீ கேட்டகரிஸ் ஆஃப் எத்வாம் பேஸ்ட் ஆன் த ஈக்காலஜிக்கல் ஸ்ட்ராட்டஜிஸ் எபிஜிக்ஸ் அனிக்ஸ் எண்டோஜிக்ஸ் இதில் எபிஜிக் ஃபைட்டோஃபேகஸ் தாவரங்களை உண்ணும் அண்ட் தென் அனிக்ஸ் ஜியோ ஃபைட்டோஃபேகஸ் இட் டேக்ஸ் த லிட்டர் அலாங் வித் த சாயில் தென் ஜியோஃபேகஸ் இதை என்ன பண்ணும் எல்லா தடைகளோடு சேர்த்து ஜியோஃபேகஸ்னால் லிட்டரலாக மண்ணில் கலந்துருக்கக்கூடிய டிபீஸை உணவாக எடுத்துக்கும் தென் எபிஜிக் சர்ஃபேஸ் டுவல்லர் அனிக்ஸ் சப் சாயில் டுவல்லர் but it will come out to the upper layer of the soil to grab the food which one anix variety endogy present on the top soil but it will present only in the deeper region it will never come out of the upper layer of the soil eppa motta varu romba instance rain rain irundha motta da mele varu got it then what about the burrows epigix big burrowers anix vertical burrowers endogix horizontal burrowers எக்ஸாம்பிள் எபிஜிக் எக்ஸாம்பிள் பீரியானிக்ஸ் எக்ஸ்கவேட்டர் யூட்ரிலஸ் யூஜினா வாட் அபவுட் அனிக்ஸ் எக்ஸாம்பிள் லாம்பிடோமாரதி அண்ட் தென் லூம்பிரிகஸ் டெரஸ்டியஸ் வாட் அபவுட் த எண்டோஜிக் ஆக்டோ கீட்டான் டஸ்டானி இட்ஸ் அ இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் த்ரீ மார்க் கொஸ்டின் நோ டவுட் நெக்ஸ்ட் மார்ஃபாலஜி ஆஃப் எர்த்வாம் வாட் அபவுட் த பாடி ஆஃப் எர்த்வாம் பாடி இஸ் வெரி லாங் cylindrical narrow kurugalanadu bilaterally symmetrical that animal body plane can be able to divide into two equal halves through the median axis that is called it as bilaterally symmetrical got it what about the body body is very long cylindrical narrow kurugala irukum bilaterally symmetrical what about the measurement லென்த் இதோட லென்த் பாத்தீங்கன்னா ரீசன் ஃபார் திஸ் கலர் லைட் ப்ரௌன் பர்பிளிஷ் திங்கிள் கலர் பிகாஸ் த பிரசன்ஸ் ஆஃப் போபாயிரின் பிக்மெண்ட் வாட் இட் கண்டைன்ஸ் போபாயிரின் பிக்மெண்ட் அதனால தான் இந்த பர்பிள் திங்கிளோட ஒரு லைட் ப்ரௌன் கலர்ல இருக்கு செக்மெண்டட் பாடி பாடி இஸ் என்சர்க்கிள் பை லார்ஜ் நம்பர் ஆஃப் குரூஸ் பாடியில் நிறைய பைல் ஆஃப் பாயிண்ட்ஸ் இப்போ இமேஜின் ஒன் ருபி காயினை ஒன்று மேலே ஒன்று மேலே அடிக்க வச்சா எப்படி இருக்குமோ அந்த மாதிரி பாடி இஸ் என்சர்க்கிள் பை லார்ஜ் நம்பர் ஆஃப் குரூஸ் குரூஸ் டிவைட்ஸ் அ பாடி இன்டூ எ நம்பர் ஆஃப் கம்பார்ட்மெண்ட்ஸ் பாடியில் நிறைய கம்பார்ட்மெண்ட்ஸ் இமேஜின் ட்ரெயின் கம்பார்ட்மெண்ட்ஸ் மாதிரி நிறைய கம்பார்ட்மெண்ட்ஸ் இருக்கும் அதை என்ன சொல்லுவோம் செக்மெண்ட்ஸ் ஆர் மெட்டாமியஸ் அப்படின்னு சொல்லுவோம் காட் இட் பாடி இஸ் என்சர்க்கிள் பை லார்ஜ் நம்பர் ஆஃப் குரூஸ் these grooves divide the body into a compartments this compartments are called it as segments the segments are otherwise named as metamers approximately the number of segments present in a worm is about 165 to 190 segments approximately got it body surface dorsal body surface ventral body surface right dorsal body ventral body abdin nama solalam idhila dorsal body surface la we can able to see the mid dorsal line imagine this is a dorsal body dorsal body surface ipa ninga endha body ipa for example earthworm ninga mannuk mele paakringa and the mannuk mele paakakudiya and the surface a dorsal body surface abdin solluvom dorsal body surface la mid dorsal line we can able to see the mid dorsal line when we observe cleanly with the help of the dissection microscope dissection microscope la paakumbodhu clarity ah paakamudiyum the bed dorsal line then dorsal body surface la enna vessel irukum appdin paathina dorsal blood vessel dorsal body surface as dorsal blood vessel ventral surface இந்த வெண்ட்ரல் சர்ஃபேஸ்ல என்ன இருக்கும் அப்படின்னு பாத்தீங்கன்னா ஜெனிட்டல் ஓப்பனிங்ஸ் மேல் ஜெனிட்டல் ஓப்பனிங் ஃபீமேல் ஜெனிட்டல் ஓப்பனிங் இந்த மாதிரி நிறைய ஜெனிட்டல் ஓப்பனிங்ஸ் ஆர
So dorsal body surface, ventral body surface. நீங்க பாக்க கூடிய விசிபல் ஏரியா மண்ணுக்கு மேல ஒரு ஏர்த்துவாம் இருக்கு. அப்பது நீங்க மேல பக்கமா பக்கிறீர்கள் that is a dorsal body surface. அது மண்ணில் உர்ந்து போக கூடிய side நம்ம ventral சொல்லும் நீங்க பாக்க கூடிய side dorsal சொல்லும். dorsal sideல dorsal midline இருக்கும் அது முட்டலம் dorsal sideல ரன்னாக கூடிய blood vessel dorsal blood vessel but it is not visible dorsal blood vessel தெரியுமான் கேட்கது it is not visible because it is present inside the body right ventral surface has lot of openings genital openings ventral surfaceல என்னலாம் opening இருக்கும் பாருங்க female genital aperture male genital aperture இந்த மறி நரைய apertures வரும் opening we can able to see in the body surfaces next mouth mouth location center of the first segment the first segment as peristomium the first segment and amina solumo peristomium the first segment is called it as peristomium that peristomium overhanging a small mouth that small flap like structure is called it as prostomium upper lip abdin solumo prostomium na yana upper lip location of the mouth center of the first segment first segment ஓட centerல mouth இருக்கும் right that first segment is named as peristomium right in the peristomium கு மேல mouth கு மேல ஒரு small flap like structure இருக்கும் this flap like structure upper lip like structure is called it as prostomium don't be confused with peristomium and prostomium got it first segment peristomium what is that first segment peristomium what is the name of the first segment peristomium that peristomium as a center part is called it as mouth right the mouth has upper lip portion called prostomium மோத்துக்கு மேல் ஓவராங் இருக்கக் குடிய ஒரு small flap like structure is called it as prostomium the last segment of earthworm imagine this is a earthworm in the earthworm mode last segment we used to call it as pygidium what is the last segment of earthworm pygidium important one word what is the last segment of earthworm pygidium this segment only contain anal part got it Yes. Next, clitellum. What is clitellum? It is present in the mature worm. Location, 14 to 16 segment. 14 learn the 16 segment. Very good. Irukka kudiya in the part. We used to call it as clitellum. In mature worm contains a thick glandular part which is located into the 14 to 16 segments named as clitellum. It is actually a swollen region. What is swollen region? Beakingi pona or pagdi madri irukho. Beakka mana or pagdi arukho. What is the use of the swollen region? It helps to form cocoon. Egg case. Mutta yoda case solo oleya. And the cocoon formation yukki in the clitellum play a vital role. What it secretes? It secretes mucus and albumin. Which play a vital role in the cocoon formation. Got it? It divides body part into three. Region. Clitellum divides the body into three regions. Pre-clitellar region, clitellar region, post-clitellar region. It is important to mark for your board exam. So, in the mark, solemn board, important three mark, two mark, solemn board, just make a note. Right? Clitellum divides the body into three regions. They are pre-clitellar. 1 to 13 kuda karada, namayna solemn abdin patina, pre-clitellar. 14 to 16 இருக்கர்து, we used to call it as clitellar. 17 to last segment, 17 लருந்து last segment வரிக்கு இருக்கர்து, end of the segment வரிக்கு இருக்கர்து, post clitellar. Right? These are the three regions based on the clitellum. Shall we recall it again? Clitellum is actually an important question too. It is present only in the mature worm. Where it is located? 14 to 16 segment. How will it be thickened glandular part? And then it has swollen region. Alla swollen na ubbi kaana padu. What is the use of clitellum? Help to form cocoon or egg case. What it secretes? It secretes mucus and albumin which play a vital role to form cocoon. And then it divides the body into three parts. Pre-clitellar region 1 to 
13 then clitala region 14 to 16 17 to last segment that is a post right once again I repeat pre clitella 1 to 13 that is pre clitella clitellum 14 to 16 then 17 to last segment it is actually a post clitella region got it next important content setae body setae how does the earthworms locomote what about the human we have limbs to move got it nam eppadi nadakrom kaalgal moolama nadakrom got it appa earthworm eppadi move agudhu nu enikkaga yosichirukkeengala the movement or wriggling movement maadhiri namak theriyum how it moves it moves with the help of the body setae got it shall we see now see this is actually a earthworm earthworm oda body la kutti 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 setae irukum that setae are embedded in the satigerous pit Earthworm body surface as body setae. This body setae embedded in the satigerous pit. One pit la world and the embedded air come. That is called satigerous pit. Okay, how it locomote with the help of the body setae. Body setae and the pit la embedded air come satigerous pit. Right? Shall we see the detailed notes of body setae? What is the use of body setae? Locomotion. Got it? Yes. Imagine this is a earthworm body. Earthworm mode of body in the mother. Right? This is earthworm total earthworm mode of body. The segments. Imagine like this. Right? This is section at the end of the section. We will see the section. That is why we the earthworm mode of body. In the middle of each segment, as a ring of tiny ciliated crystals will be there. What will be there? In middle of each segment, over a segment of the middle. In your own tiny ring, ciliated, bristle ciliated will be there. That is called it as body setae. They are made of chitin. This is called chitin. A setae measure, setae would measure your own 0.26 mm in length, 0.03 mm in width. It is important for your need. It is not present in your SCRT, but it is not uh, present in your SCRT content for need purpose you must learn. Got it? And then your CTA uh, will be faint yellow colored and then yes shaped. More or less yes shaped. Or a max integral shape kuda edutthukla. Or yes shape The middle part will be a swollen part that tapered end. In the CTA or a CTA where the padina in the middle part you have to swollen part ruko. End to the tapering a what it ruko. Got it? CTA is the use of locomotory structure. Shall we see what is CTA? In the middle of each segment, over a segment of the middle, over a segment of the middle, a ring of tiny ciliated crystal will be there. One ring madri, one crystal slang, middle of the middle. Like this. In the middle of the middle, there are crystals. This is the middle of the Body setae. They are made of chitin. Got it? What is the use of body setae? Locomotory structure. Important need content. One more content. The arrangement of setae. Perichitine, lumbricin. Apri rend arrangement paka poru. Perichitine. Apri na the arrangement of setae in a ring of such each segment. Over a segment. Imagine this is a segment. Over segment it will be in the form of ring. In the mark continuous ring, 80 to 120 C days in the continuous abdina perichitine. Arrangement of C tray will be perichitine. You know, the lumbricoids a variety of the earthworm. Lumbricin. What is lumbricin? 8 bristles per segment. One segment la earthworm or one segment la. 8 bristles irundadna that is lumbricin arrangement of body setae got it there are no setae in the first and the last segment last segment we know that one pygidium first segment in the first segment liyo last segment liyo enna irukadu first segment and last segment don't have setae right the setae rises from the pit is called as satigerous pit. I hope you can understand the content very well. Got it? Thank you children.